What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to the reaction of a lifetime. <laughs> um, reaction of the channel? I don't know. Like, this is probably gonna be. This is gonna be a massive video. Like, I, I am. I have. This has been highly anticipated by not only myself, but also you guys. Uh, I, I've seen you asking for reactions, and oh my gosh, we are finally here. It's been like two two days or something since the FNAF teaser trailer first released, and I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. It has been two or three days, and it's apparently crazy. It's apparently really good, and I have a lot of high expectations, um, which we'll go through in a minute, but it's also less than a minute long. So, not very long, but I'm sure this video is like an hour long or something like that because I'm going to be talking a lot. Uh, speaking of which, this video is going to be cut up into video chapters. So, if you want to go straight to the reaction right now, you can do that by, by searching on the little bar below, on the little video below, the, yeah. You know what I mean. You can go and skip to the reaction right now. I have set that up for you. But, before we even get onto the reaction, before I get onto the reaction at least, I don't know if many people are going to see this because you probably are here for the reaction rather than me talking the entire time. I want to talk about kind of my expectations, uh, my hopes, my kind of worries I guess, and what I think like the vibe will be like. Because I think that's a big thing for me, like if it doesn't feel like Five Nights at Freddy's, there's going to be this kind of dissonance throughout the entire movie and I feel like it's going to hurt the movie a lot. Uh, I feel like it kind of has to stay very true to kind of the original FNAF games while also kind of expanding the story a little bit and um, of course there are now characters so so it's not just gonna be like FNAF 1, Mike Schmidt um, goes to the pizzeria, fights off animatronics for five nights at Freddy's, not even five nights, seven nights and then and then that's the game and then he gets a paycheck. Like it's gonna be a lot more developed um, of a story than obviously FNAF 1, FNAF 2 was, obviously, because it is a full-on movie, and I am so happy, so, so happy with how the, um, the, the poster thing looks, the first teaser that we ever got, um, for the FNAF movie, which came out, uh, like a few minutes, I think, before their actual trailer released. They look fantastic, they look exquisite. Uh, we have five of them because we have one uh, with all of the animatronics on and then we have one for each animatronic individually. And I'll put them up on the screen right now if you haven't seen them. They look so freaking good, man. I, ca I can't. They look amazing. Um, I know, like, first of all, I know a lot of people have been saying um, red eyes. Ew, that's, that's gross. That's like, a, that's like something that they do in every horror movie. Who cares? <laughs> Literally, who gives a damn? Uh, I don't care if it's in every horror movie. That just means that this makes it a horror movie. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, just because it's red eyes doesn't mean it's bad. Like, red eyes... I know it's like a common trope for enemies to have red eyes or for animatronics to have red eyes. But, like, what else? What, what other colour would you want? <laughs> Um, and I've seen people try to edit it so that it looks like, just like, black with the white dots, just like in FNAF 1 and FNAF 2. Yeah, people do that in FNAF 2. The puppet does that in FNAF 2. Um, and so, like, and, and while, like, I get the idea, and I, I get that you want it to stay like that, um, like it was in FNAF, like the, the classic white pupils, um, I don't think it looks very good. I like I I feel like the eyes have to glow in order for it to stand out. And I really like the retro feel of the posters as well because we have like the purple and the red. Like that that is the the main colors of the poster and it feels very retro for some reason. It feels like you're you're kind of in an arcade or something like that. And it feels very 1980s um which uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it that like I feel like with this movie, they're, they're going to have a lot of props, obviously, and stuff that are from the 1980s, or look like they're from the 1980s, uh, or 70s, or 90s, whatever. Uh, and I really hope that it, it, it stays with that kind of retro theme, because that is kind of what the original games were about, especially when you have, like, the retro mini-games. Like, let's let's see an arcade... <laughs> let's, let's see... Let's see a cut... Uh, uh, not a cutscene. Let's see a scene... 
in the movie that is literally just 8-bit. I would love that. I would freaking love that. I'm joking, by the way, but that would be pretty cool. Oh, that'd be really cool for, like, the, the credits. Probably not. Anyway. Ooh. What do I expect for this trailer? Man, there are so many things that I I want. I, I would say there are so many things that I want in this trailer. And there are so many things that I want in the movie, but I feel like they should keep for the movie. For example, Golden Freddy. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing Golden Freddy in this, though, and I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay, so my expectations. So, first of all, I really hope to see Josh Hutcherson. I, I was going to say Hutchinson. It's Hutcherson. Uh, I really hope to see Josh as Michael. Uh, just exploring the pizzeria like that that is something that I want right now um, Just to see because that is classic for NAF that is the security guard the pizzerias the animatronics That's that's like the core three things. I would say are in the core It is in the core for NAF game um, And so that's something that I definitely want to see in there Mike exploring the pizzeria uh, I would love to see William. I don't know if they are going to show William um that's, of course, um, oh my god, I am so terrible with names. What's his name? <laughs> oh, Matthew Lillard. Okay, there we go. I really hope to see Matthew Lillard uh, as William Afton. I just feel like that would be that would be so cool to see in a purple suit or something like that. There has to be purple. There has to be more purple. Um, and let me look at the, the rest of the cast. Elizabeth Lale as Vanessa. I doubt we'll see her. Actually, no, I don't know. Maybe she'll be, like, the one speaking. She'll be like, and you have to survive Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know what her voice is like. She is very beautiful, though. Uh, and then there's Piper Rubio as Abby Schmidt, a.k.a. Mike Schmidt's sister. Notice how I'm saying Schmidt um, and not Afton because we don't technically know if Mike is supposed to be an Afton in this movie. I personally I personally hope that it's it's not. I, I personally hope that Mike and William are kind of separate, but there still has to be some sort of motive for Michael to go to the pizzerias, and so we'll probably talk about that, I guess, closer to the time. I don't know. I don't I don't really know how I'm going to structure my channel coming up and up to the um, the FNAF movie, but um, yeah. So Piper Rubio is Abby Schmidt. I have a feeling we'll see her um, maybe with Mike. I doubt it. I, maybe they'll be on their like, th like their own special adventures or something. Uh, really hoping to see um, some of the kids, um, like the missing kids um, from the incident. Grant Freely. Um, we don't. I actually don't know who Grant Freely is supposed to be, but probably like, probably this this universe is the one you should not have killed. I would say probably like the the leader of the missing children. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. I have a feeling like that's that's possible. Um, and then, oh, Christian Stokes. We have to see Christian. <laughs> if we don't, then this is a bad trailer. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, hoping for all of those people to appear. Um, and will they? I don't know. Um, what else am I hoping for? I, I hope to see the kids, honestly. Like, I, I feel like... I don't know how they would do it. Like... The kids can uh, can be maybe in the pizzeria having fun, playing arcades, all that pizzazz, looking at the animatronics, I guess. And then the other thing I would want uh, to see is like ghost kids, I guess. Like that's the other possibility for me with these children. I don't really know how else they're gonna fit in the in the story, you know, because there are a lot of a lot of kids in this. Um, so ghost kids is probably likely. Um, but then they would be separated from their animatronic bodies, which would be very interesting for the story. Um, what else do I want to say before we get into this? Uh, I hope to see a lot of different scenery. Like, okay, actually, it's something that I do want to just say right now. I hope there is some sort of plot, right? And let me explain. I, I, I don't want... This to be a teaser trailer just showing the locations and stuff like that. That's going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool to see some of the official locations and the official animatronics as well in this trailer. Uh, possibly at least. But I really hope that it shows us some of what the story will be about. That's, that's how you tease people in. That's how you captivate people 
and make them come and watch the movie. And uh, and I really hope... I know it's just a teaser trailer, not a full trailer. As I said, it's under a minute. However, I, I really hope that we get a sense of story, right? Um, maybe some dialogue saying, like, I have to go back to Freddy's and spend five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> and that's the other thing. I really hope it is actually five nights at Freddy's. I think I've done too much talking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. I am really scared. I am really scared to click play. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, we're gonna do it. So the way that this is gonna work is I'm gonna do one full watch through. Just completely, like I won't pause it or anything. I'm just gonna react to it. And you're gonna see my first reaction. And then we're gonna go through it um, little by little. Like we're gonna go through it and analyze some of the details if I can find any. Um, because I'm sure there are plenty of Easter eggs and that is something else that I'm hoping for. A lot of Easter eggs, references to the other games, to the books, hopefully. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I am so excited, man. Let's go. Okay, we are going to be reacting to this right about now. That's so loud for me, sorry. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! That looks amazing! Josh Hutchison! <gasps> oh my god! What? 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 Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what? My expectations were way too low. Holy schmucks. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing, right? It just hit me. Like, it only just hit me. Like, when I screamed, when I went, ha! Ah! <laughs> that was very soy, by the way. When I screamed, I was like, oh my gosh. We are getting a Five Nights at Freddy's movie? It only just hit me. It, it literally just hit me that we are going to be seeing this Five Nights at Freddy's universe in a movie, on the big screen. Throughout this that entire thing, I was like, the production is so high. It is. It's genuine. It's so well done. The music was on point. That's one thing I didn't even talk about. The music was beautiful. It was so well composed, or uh, not composed. It was so well put together because I'm I'm pretty sure it was like pre-composed. Um, and we have the original. Uh, I I heard in the background at the end, Toriador March, which is um. Freddy's March in FNAF 1. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I did see a few references. We got basically all of the characters I said I wanted. I think we had ghost children in there. We definitely had Vanessa. I was actually surprised to see Vanessa. Um, and and we had a freaking William Afton. Oh my gosh. This is such a good trailer. This is so good. I'll be honest. I, I, I wasn't... Like a hundred percent, I I was definitely a bit worried, like going into this, because it's something that I'm passionate about, and like my whole YouTube channel revolves around Five Nights at Freddy's. It's been eight years of the franchise now, and I've been here for a very large portion of it, and FNAF has kind of changed my life in a lot of ways. Like it, it's definitely had a big impact on my life. Let's put it that way. So, it's really cool to see these characters on the big screen. Let's go through a second reaction. Kind of scene by scene, I think we'll do. Uh, and then we might go further into detail a lot later. And I am probably going to be doing that thing that a lot of other YouTubers are going to be doing. Which is analysing these trailers. Um, frame by frame, I'm going to be doing. Frame by frame. Let's go through this. Not frame by frame this time, but... Okay. So it starts out with this tape. This is wonderful. This is such a cool addition because it, it brings you into to Freddy's and what Freddy's is, 
where it is, and what the vibe is like. And instantly, you see this and you're thinking, it's some sort of instruction manual or welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Um, and it's 80s. It's 80s themed. It's very colourful. But still, uh, again, kind of retro colours. Uh, and it just, it feels, it feels alive. L right? It feels lively. And that is something that I feel like we've never really gotten in the FNAF games. Is like actually seeing the restaurant. <laughs> like, it, that's kind of weird to say. We had that in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, but we didn't really see any patrons there. We didn't see any customers. Um, and, and like, this is wonderful to see, to, to actually see, like, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza alive. Um, and I'm talking out of universe here because, of course, if I was in the, Fr the FNAF universe, I wouldn't want Freddy Fazbear's to be alive. Obviously not. So, what did she say? <laughs> Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy and fun come to life. This, my friends, is the FNAF movie Phone Guy. 100%. This is terrifying. <laughs> that is actually terrifying. That's the other thing, like, low quality is kind of scary. Anyway, a low quality and, like, desaturated, that's kind of, um, scary. Um, welcome to Freddy Fries Fest Pizza, where fantasy and fun come to life. The classic saying of Freddy's. I'm glad that they, they, they brought that into this. Uh, Showtime button. Is that a reference to FNAF VR, <laughs> where you cut, where you press the Showtime button a million times and nothing happens? Okay, I'm sorry to go through this again, but uh, wow. Okay, so her entrance, she's got loads of badges. Can't really see it; it's not high enough quality. I, 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 I'm not playing the 4K version, so maybe you'll be able to see it in 4K. But I know that this is like low resolution anyway because it is supposed to be. Um, I think that's a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza badge. It's pretty cool. I like her outfit. Um, I think. <laughs> well, that was a bit mean. <laughs> um, she seems, like, very smiley and welcoming, but also very sinister. It was very well delivered, that line. Um, this is so cool to see! Look at this! It's so freaking cool, man. I know it doesn't even look very much like Freddy's, but just knowing that they built this entire set uh, for the FNAF movie and seeing like it come to life is just wonderful. It is. It's magical. It is. It's where fantasy and fun come to life. <laughs> I just realized I've been saying that for this entire time, basically. Freddy Fazbear's is alive. Where fantasy and fun come to Foxy toy! Foxy toy. We have a Foxy the pirate toy. We have some people playing... Um, what's it called? Bo uh, table, table football. What I don't know what it's called. Table soccer, soccer, soccer ball. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, that's a bit weird. Why is there just a kid on the wall? Okay. Uh, is this the ball pit in the background as well? I did see a ball pit. Abby was in the ball pit. Okay. So, okay. What is this? Is this like an old arcade, arcade that I don't know because I was born in 2000s? Uh, 2001 I was born. I, I'm not that late. Uh, yeah, so this is cool, watching the arcades. I'm sure there are other details here as well, but I can't be asked. Uh, kid getting hit by a, a ball. That's a bit of a weird shot. Into the pit. Imagine if we... Imagine if there's a kid named Oswald in this movie. I would lose my mind. Uh, it, it turns out that he travelled from, like, the games universe to the movie universe. It wasn't from, like, a date to 1985. It was just from one universe to the other. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, bull pit. We've seen bull pits various times in the series. Actually, no, that's, a, that's kind of a lie. Um, but, yeah. <coughs> Pretty cool. Uh, I like the addition of the bull pit. I feel like that's going to have some creepy elements in it. I, I saw Freddy peeking out from behind the bull pit, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Okay. Um, what is happening here? Okay, the kids are just playing. That's that's cool. A little promotional video. That is just terrifying. What is going on with her face? <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. Um, I, I I love... I actually really like the design of the pizzeria. I, I thought... Because I saw some, some of like the leaked sets. And I thought I wouldn't like the pizzeria very much. The design of it. But looking at it... It fits really well. It, it it works really well. I think what was daunting to me 
was the bright colors. I like the yellow and the blue, and I think that's pink above. Or no, actually, it might be red. It's probably red. Uh, but I wasn't too keen on like the color choices and the bricks below, of course. I kind of wanted them to stick to the regular, uh, what, what it was like in FNAF 1. But at the same time, now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, it, it does work. It does work, definitely. Again, I keep mentioning it for the retro theme, for the theme of the 1980s. Why, why in universe would the company be like, okay, so we want these, these grey concrete walls filled with spider webs. <laughs> like, they, they wouldn't do that. Of course, they would, um, they would have it colourful and then have it abandoned possibly um so yeah what is the story here like i don't understand why mike is going to freddy's but that's something to discuss another day so that she presses the showtime button we see the curtain wow what a shot that is amazing chica looks high uh freddy looks even higher um such a cool shot we also see shadow shadow freddy <laughs> probably not um this is great. It, it Just seeing, like, the performance is great. I hope that we see a full performance in the movie. That would be really cool. I would love that. Bonnie looking amazing. The animatronic suits look fantastical. Um, Foxy in particular. I'm calling you out. Man, you look... <sighs> Wait, that was supposed to be like a kiss. Uh, you look gorgeous, man. Your little tufts of hair on on the on the like the whiskers or whatever it is. I don't even know what what the fox things are are called. But um, looks amazing. Looks so good. And uh, also, just so you know, none of the animatronics are CGI. Just in case you were wondering, I can confirm right now, they were all built by Jim Henson's workshop. Fantastic job, guys. They are very accurate to the games. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I couldn't be happier, like, knowing that these animatronics actually exist. I think that's something that FNAF fans, and, and just any, anyone in general, kind of struggles to comprehend in your mind. Like, these animatronics exist in, in real life. Like, this isn't some parallel universe. This is real life. So it's kind of insane. Um, kind of insane. Okay, so, I, I, I also really like the lighting, honestly. I, I like how it, like, pans across. It kind of feels reminiscent of like police, police sirens or police lighting. And the reason I say that is because like, could be like a parallel kind of foreshadowing in a way. Probably not. But uh, it kind of feels like a spotlight, you know. Um, so very nice. It, it definitely feels like, like I, I feel like I, I was talking about the vibes and this is it. Like this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, it feels like it is from the era we are dealing with. Then there's some cool static, um, and then we just cut to this, like, and I really like how the resolution is, like, um, I don't know what res resolution this is, but, like, it's almost square, right? Kind of, like, back in the old days, <laughs> back in the old, back in my, back in my old days, um, yeah, video cameras were like this, right? So, we only got, like, this portion, and it's very low quality, and then cut to this. It looks fantastic. I actually think this is something that films do specifically to make their film look better. They kind of show like low quality footage at the beginning. And then when they cut to the high footage, uh, the high quality footage, it looks higher quality footage because you're comparing it to what you saw before. I have a feeling that's, that's like something they do, definitely. This is so cool. So obviously we've seen pictures of the full area. Um, and, and we, and we've seen the picture of the big sign and I think that they look, they look great. Um, I think something that people were worried about was Freddy had like white gloves. I have a feeling in the movie, they're going to bring that up. They're, they're going to look at the sign. It's going to be a little comedic moment. They're going to look at the sign and they're going to be like, white gloves. Freddy doesn't have white gloves. <laughs> and that's going to be like a joke in the movie. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, there's a red O here. Don't know why that's there. Uh, these look like eyes. I'm I'm looking too deep into this. I know it's my FNAF theory brain going <laughs> going off. But like they I, they might have done this intentionally. They might have been like, oh, you know what? The, these lights. They we're gonna choose them specifically because they look like eyes in the night, and that that kind of relates to 
um, how like the souls work and stuff like that. The, they add to the creepiness. And I really like the environment here as well. It feels like we're in, it feels like we're in like where I live because it's, it looks like it's rained a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I, no, I like this. The, I, I really like this because they, they've kind of shown like a mini timeline. They, they've kind of shown that Freddy's used to be open. And that's probably how the movie's going to start. Freddy's being open, loads of kids enjoying themselves, eating pizza, watching the animatronics perform. And then it's going to cut to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is closed. And they're going to try and unravel the mystery of what happened. And what happened was the missing children's incident. So I like this. I like that they open with this. It's kind of like a subtle hint that Freddy's is now shut down. It is now abandoned. And Mike is going back. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure we see him next. Oh my god! Oh, it's my hero! <laughs> oh, I think I'm gay now. Um, yeah, perfect choice. I, I think that's really good casting, honestly. I think Josh Hutchison is brilliant in this role, probably. Uh, I, I say probably because I don't know how good he is in the role, because we haven't seen him very much but just look at him man like he suits it very well great facial expression um just great kind of posturing and cadence not cadence what's the word i don't know good posture uh good positioning i'm not a director i have no idea what i'm talking about i did do drama though i did do drama for like two years anyway um we have a full view oh my god there's gonna be so much here there is going to be so much, um, and it feels like it's not bright enough. So I'm probably going to have to brighten this after after this video is over. Um, but a full view of abandoned Freddy's got prizes, neon light there. We're probably going to be seeing a lot of neon lights, I would say. Um, thank you there. There's loads of papers here. Wonder what that is. Um, Probably like a board of some sorts. We got a Bonnie picture there. I, I can't see most of what's happening. But really cool environment. Uh, I like how... The thing is you don't want these movies to be too dark. Right? Because then they're, they're not very appealing to the eye I guess. I think Blumhouse are actually really good at... Um, at doing horror... At, at doing horror differently I think I don't really know how to explain it I just feel like this is this is looking really nice um I I think it's it's perfectly kind of um man I am losing all my words it's it's very well um positioned and captured I think um the composition of it that's that's the word I'm looking for the composition is brilliant it kind of draws you in it's kind of like a spiral right it kind of goes from prizes, kind of loops around here. Uh, can you even see my mouse? I don't know if you can see my mouse. It goes from prizes and then loops around to to Josh Hutchison as Mike walking through the door. And it looks fantastic, I, I must say. The checkerboard floor looks great. Uh, yeah, it just... The environment and the mood, I think, has been set very well. And... Oh, we, we, can, we can see... What on earth is that? It's like a Chica tapestry. <laughs> uh, it looks great though. Oh, is it like a seating area? Is it like a seating area? And then there's boards um, with like tapestries on it or something. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I I wonder... I, I know actually they've torn the building down. I, I kind of wish that they kept this. And it was like a museum. <laughs> Not a museum. I actually feel like there would be a danger in like having a real life Freddy's. I feel like somebody... Somebody in the world, there's 7 million people, 7 billion people, sorry, 8 billion people now, I'd say. 8 billion people, somebody is going to go to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and kill someone. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, you are leaving the breadcrumbs for a serial killer, my friends. So, um, yeah, definitely not, d definitely don't open a Freddy's anytime soon, but, um, yeah, <laughs> we got very off topic, um, Oh, that is, that is such a cool shot, man. 
he pulls the curtain open to reveal Bonnie. Oh, and then it cuts to his beautiful face. I mean, just his face. Um, a lot of people I saw on Twitter, a lot of people were saying that uh, this guy looks like John Fanaf, um, the guy that makes videos on YouTube, yes. And apparently he was supposed to, he was like a, a, a body swap. No, no, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. He was supposed to be Mike in some capacity as well, but things didn't work out or something. I don't know, go and visit his Twitter or something. <laughs> um, looks brilliant. I love the flashlight as well. Uh, nice strong light there. Um, that feels like a little bit of a weaker shot. You can kind of see, like, the composition... I, I'm not a film expert. I don't deal with cameras very much apart from the camera that you're, that you're, um, that I'm in front of. But that just feels kind of weak. I guess it will look better in the movie, um, because it will kind of feel like it will flow, but it just kind of feels like a weird shot because it's kind of like, it's, it doesn't have to be centered, obviously, but like, it's not, it's just in a really weird position. And then everything else is darkness. Maybe there's a secret here. Who knows? Um, Oh, I don't know why I'm playing it. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do like a full listen through in a minute just to kind of remember what um, what they say. Cupcake shot. Uh, I mean, cool, I guess. <laughs> Was it really needed? I don't know. Uh, I, I really like this because it's, it's showing everything really still, really quiet. And then he's going to turn the power on. And everything will come to life, quite literally. Great shots here. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the detail on that. That's brilliant. Um, I really like that because it's it shows the abandonedness of it. <laughs> it looks really torn and battered. And it looks like it's been through a lot, this sign. And that says a lot about Freddy's as a whole, right? Uh, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like a microcosm of the movie, which, which is cool. And that's ironic because I believe this sign is the logo. Like, I might be wrong about that. Okay, I think I'm wrong. But I like how the logo comes in like that. It kind of feels very similar. I kind of wish they used the actual... Um, I kind of wish they, they used this sign as the actual logo, but it's fine. It might have broken immersion. Uh, but the lighting here is so cool. Then we see this sign. Amazing. Amazing. I didn't know. I did not know that this was, these were lights. That's really cool. I mean, obviously they are. I'm so stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I also love, it looks overgrown. Right? You've got, like, leaves and branches here or something. Maybe cobwebs. Like, you can tell it's been abandoned. And that's a really good thing uh, for the movie. So, yeah. Very cool. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Look at this shot. This is everything I wanted. This is everything I wanted. I keep seeing cool things. Okay. Let's break this down. The Celebrate poster in the background. Of course it's there. Of course. It has to be. I, I really hope that they honk Freddy's nose in the movie. That would be really cool. Uh, or if there's just a reference to it or something. Cameras. Very, very cool. They've done this really well, I think, with having multiple um, like this. Um, can't really see much in them. Uh, I mean, I guess... Yeah, like, we're not supposed to yet, obviously. Uh, they're keeping that for later, but the location looks really cool. It's so cool that they built all of this. It's so cool. Um, we have this, the, the what do you call it, a cup the, uh, the of soda, I guess. Um, really cool, actually. Really cool. I, I, I believe that's identical to the one um, in the games. And then we have this... Up here, maybe that's a statement about the missing children's incident or kind of like a review of the pizzeria or something. I don't know. Is that an animatronic? I'm, I'm looking at the 
at the bottom right small screen. I feel like that it, it looks like there's an animatronic there. There probably isn't. Look at the keyboard. That's so cool. Okay, man. Okay. Getting into this. Oh, wow. Wowee. Wow. Oh, that shot. That shot reminds me of a FNAF one shot. And the, that FNAF one shot is one of my favorite shots in, in the game, I think. Just like of all the animatronics kind of like looking off into the distance really eerily. Um, you can like hardly see their eyes, like their um, their pupils or their irises. Got that word. Um, uh, th this looks fantastic. I don't know what else to say. You're probably bored of me just saying, oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is fantastic. It just is. It, it's amazing. It's so good. Okay. So what do we have here? Fruit. Fruit dome or something like that. Fruit doms. I don't know. I can't read. Uh, oh. Oh, wow. Wow. I did not even see that in the first first time watching. First of all, this is a really cool shot of the, of the camera rotating around Josh. Um, I should probably start saying Mike so that it's not confusing. But Mike... Um, why is he so attractive? <laughs> I'm falling in love with him as I'm watching this trailer. He's great. He's great. Um, he's perfect for it. But Freddy is here. Freddy is here on the left. Oh, so cool. And then the glitch comes back. Or not the glitch, but the... Yeah, you know what I mean. Static. And then she's back. Uh, and then... Jesus. What is even happening here? Okay, he's getting locked in something. And then there's saw blades. What is this? That's the inside of, a, of an animatronic head, I assume. What is that? Why are there saw blades in an animatronic? I guess maybe that this was built by William. Or maybe it's a spring lock. No, surely not. That can't be a spring lock. I, don't, I think it would be more accurate to what spring locks are, are said to be in the games and the books, sorry. Um, so this is a Freddy head. This is weird. This is like a torture device. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Um, whoa! <laughs> that is a cool shot. That is such a cool shot. Oh, my gosh. Shadow Foxy is real, everyone. Shadow Foxy is real. Look at that shot. It kind of looks like Monty. Don't know why I'd say that, but like, kind of, the teeth remind me of uh, of Monty. But no, that's that's Foxy, and it looks like he's grinning. It it kind of reminds me of the Mona Lisa. You know, with the Mona Lisa, you can't tell if it's smiling or if it's sad. You can't tell if it's like looking at you or looking past you. Like, it's kind of like uh, ambiguous in a way. Um, even though it seems so simple from the outside, look into it and kind of try and understand what it means. And it's very, um, very ambiguous with its meanings and kind of how it presents itself kind of get in the same sense here that is so menacing but also so innocent right because it's just a foxy animatronic and it's probably possessed at this point by a child um and yeah i mean innocent wasn't the right word but <laughs> you know what i mean like it's so cool so cool uh foxy is probably my favorite call me phone guy if you want but Foxy is probably my favorite in in of all of them so far. And there's Piper right there as Abby. Was I right about that? Yeah, that's Piper. Abby Schmidt is here, ladies and gentlemen. Um wearing a cloud shirt uh in Freddy's as well, so probably with Mike at this point. Uh is she going to save Mike from the torture device? Oh, whoa, 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 Freddy, Freddy, oh my gosh, those look like human eyeballs, I'm not even joking, that is terrifying, 
That is so scary. Wow. And you can't even see... I, I love that, actually. I love that you cannot see Freddy. You can just see his eyes. Perfect way to do that shot, I think. Especially with the curtains on either side. Beautiful. Very well done. Uh, I mean, I never doubted Blumhouse for a second, but... Uh, oh, there... There's... See, look, here is... Here's the hot guy. And here's the pretty woman. Walking down the street. Pretty woman. Um, Elizabeth Lale as Vanessa. What is that in the background? Oh, oh, it's just like a ski ball machine or something like that. Uh, no, not ski ball. Um, I don't even know what ski ball is. It's like another. Oh no, it's it's the soccer game. It's the soccer game. Um, it, it's this seems like a random shot to put in, but uh, I'm glad they put it in because we love a bit of Vanessa. Don't know how Vanessa's gonna play into this. Uh, I guess the three are gonna team up. Um, that's my guess at least. Um. And I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be Vanessa from Security Breach. Although, this could lead on to, like, a Pizzaplex movie. And then it could be specifically about Vanessa. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if they'll do that, but that sounds like a cool idea, at least. What is going on here? This feels... It feels like I'm in, um... What's the movie called? Summer... Oh my god, my mind has gone completely blank. Midsummer. It feels like midsummer. Um I'm just saying that because of the forest and it and it looks like it's a cult. <laughs> what is going on? These are ghost kids, I assume. I'm Wait. That's Chica right there on the right. And then that's all I've got. <laughs> uh I I was just assuming because like she's wearing yellow or whatever. Um and is that Grant Freely? Yeah, that's Grant. So, not Freely, Feely, sorry. Um, so, so Grant is a missing child. Interesting. Also, we know, we know 100% that Mike has a younger brother and something happened to him. Bite of 83, probably, but who, 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 <laughs> who, who, who? Who is Mike's younger brother? Like, who is the who is the cast for that? Who is the actor? That's what I want to know. Because I don't think we've seen them. Which is strange, to say the least. So this is just a strange scene in general, but it... Uh, okay. So, is it are, are, like, the spirits of Freddy's... Like, following Mike or something? What is going on? Why is he wearing such a dope hat? <laughs> Look at that hat. Is that a fedora? No, that's a, that's like a top hat. Damn, bro, you got drip. <laughs> this is really cool. Uh I Yeah, before when I was talking about like how they would incorporate children into this, I did not think they would be running around in a forest, but okay. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Uh and then the next scene Matthew Lillard as William Afton. No purple. No purple. Uh, this is also a strange shot to just put in there randomly. I, okay, fair enough. Like, teaser trailer. Um, teaser, 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 teaser trailer. We're not going to see much of the plot, as I said. Like, I, I just want, like, a brief kind of overview of the story. But we are seeing a lot of the characters for a very brief glimpse. And we're not seeing much about them. There's not much content behind them, probably because they're saving it for the movie, or they're saving it for the big trailer. Um, and that's completely fine with me. But, uh, just saying. It feels like a weird shot, because it's literally just Matthew Lillard going... <laughs> but, uh, is that a purple tie? I really hope it's a purple tie. It looks kind of black, blue, blackish, bluish to me. But, uh, I hope it's a purple tie, because that would be very cool. Um... So yeah, interesting. He has a certificate in the background. He has a degree in something. He has a degree in engineering. Uh probably, I I would say, because um, you know, he built he built the pizzerias. Um that that's I I've only just thought like 
are we going to see a Henry, a Henry stand-in? Is that going to be Christian Stokes' character? Don't know. Very interesting. Maybe there just won't be a Henry. Um, although there's got to be a reason for him to start killing. Oh god, we're not going to have a motive for him in the movies, are we? <laughs> oh no. History repeats itself. Another strange scene here of Mike lying down in the forest looking up. What is going on? What is going on in this forest? I am really intrigued, to say the least. Um, but there we go. Who is that? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the previous imp that's the previous night guard. That's the previous night guard getting killed, I reckon. I think. I, I think I think that might be how the film opens, honestly. I feel like the opening scene is gonna be this guy getting killed by something. And the, and they don't show the animatronics, but they show him getting killed brutally. Um and then 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 it cuts to like, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where Kids and grown-ups are like, wait, no, that's just phone guy. Uh, <laughs> where fantasy and fun come to life. And then they show the retro tapes. And then Mike sees them or he sees like a job or something. And then he goes to the location for some reason. And then he is the night guard. I feel like that's going to be how the movie is structured. But I, I, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably even wrong about this being the previous night guard. But uh, I feel like there has to be... A previous night guard and I feel like this is the guy because I have no I have literally no idea who this is he looks like the screen painting though uh, I don't know why I, I drew that reference but there you go that that's a horrifying scene just a zoom in staring directly at the camera no fourth wall breaking screaming black abyss in his mouth black abyss in his eyes terrifying shot Oh my god, I didn't even see this the first time. So this is one of the plastic balls from the ball pit. And this is... Is this Foxy? Yeah, that's Foxy, right? Foxy toes? No. Yeah, because, yeah, Foxy has two toes in FNAF 1. Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know if the others have as many toes. I, I don't know. It could be any animatronic. I feel like it's Foxy. Um, But, wow. He's squashing a ball. That's threatening. And then we cut. This is actually one of my favorite shots, I think. Oh, that's creepy. This is probably one of my favorite shots in the thing. Abby sinking down into the the ball pit. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine if there are into pit into the pit parallels. Oh boy. I do not even want to think about that. Imagine if this ball pit is time traveling. No. Um so what is she doing? Oh, she's probably hiding from the animatronic. Yeah, she's probably hiding from Foxy right now. That's really cool. Great shot. And there we see Freddy lurking within the ball pits, uh, balls. And wait, is that Freddy? No, that's Foxy. No, it's Freddy. No, it's Foxy. I can't tell. No, it's Foxy. It's a it's hundred percent Foxy. I can see red fur. But. Red oh, I, oh, and the eye patch, of course. Red eyes. People didn't like them. I personally really like them. I think they look good. I don't care if if every horror movie uses them. They look good. So that's probably why they use them. Um, so there you go. That's that's a really cool shot of Foxy looking into the ball pit. Are we looking... Is this like a... Again, I'm not very good at film knowledge and stuff. But like, is this like a... Upside down bird's eye view. <laughs> is this like looking da looking up? Is this looking up through the ball pit? Possibly. I feel like this is Foxy looking down on us uh, as Abby. That's very menacing and very threatening. Interesting. This looks like Freddy, but it's golden. <laughs> Remember that whole debate of... um. Freddy vs. Golden Freddy in that original, like, teaser image. I still don't know if that's Golden Freddy or not. I feel like it probably is Golden Freddy because of the missing ear. Do we have it? Do we have an ear here? Do we have an ear? Uh, I think we do have an ear. I think this is, for the record, I think that is regular Freddy. Uh, looking really cool. Looking really dope. And then we have a Bonnie. 
and actually I never found Bonnie that scary I just want to put it out there but this shot is just like Bonnie staring into your soul and that that I don't want to look at it anymore <laughs> oh it's great and then the glowing Five Nights at Freddy's very retro again Five Nights at Freddy's colored exactly the same as the curse skin in uh in FNAF AR so irrelevant but yeah there you go October 27th Five Nights at Freddy's dot movie 2023 Universal Studios oh my gosh I think that's like I think that's a really good teaser trailer I think it's really good let's watch it one last time with the audio because we haven't listened to any of the audio since the first time we watched uh, and I'm going to pick out any details uh, I hear in the audio, but let's just play it again. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. There you go. Oh, the music is so good. There you go. So it is an instruction tape. So it is... It's literally phone guy. It is literally phone guy. Mike is going to be listening to this. Um, welcome to Freddy's, um, where fantasy and fun come to life. This is your instruction guide. Um, so that's really cool. And I really like how they use this audio all the way through the trailer. I think it's really cool. It's a really good introduction, not only to Mike, but to us uh, as the viewers. And of course, if you don't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's and you're watching this trailer, it's a perfect way to introduce you. To the world of Five Nights at Freddy's. There you go. Just like how, just like how when you first played Five Nights at Freddy's, Phone Guy was basically the first introduction to the world, right? Have you ever thought about that? That is kind of insane. That Phone Guy, like of everything in the franchise, Phone Guy was the first time we really understand the world of Freddy's, and that's kind of crazy to me. But yeah. Oh, I don't like those laughs. I did not hear that on the first watch through. Um, good delivery of the of the voice lines, I think. Those laughs are actually cursing me. <laughs> I love how the music goes quiet there. Da, 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 da. Wow. I have nothing else to say except just wow. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there. <laughs> My first reaction, I think, was probably really cringe. I, I haven't seen it yet, obviously, because I need to watch this video back. And... I'm sure that my first reaction was really cringe. I was basically just like this the entire time. And I remember going, ha! <laughs> that was kind of cringe. Anyway, um, I love everything about this. My hopes, like, at the beginning of the year, I would say my hopes for the FNAF movie were low. Now, high, highest they've ever been. Like, I genuinely think this is going to be a good movie. And I, I was very scared. I felt like it was going to be tacky. I think that that's, that's like my main, well, that, was, that was my main worry. About this movie that it would be tacky and I'm, I'm glad to say I don't think that anymore I don't think it's going to be I think it's going to be a fully fledged movie that isn't just like Five Nights at Freddy's it's not like one big joke you know I think Blumhouse are taking it very very seriously which is very good and they're gonna treat it like any other movie and I think that they know how popular it is going to be and I think that they are going to do um, amazing with it. I, I think I have a lot of hope for it now. Uh, and actually, October isn't even that far away. I, okay, it is. <laughs> it's five months away, right? This movie comes out in five months. Kind of insane to think about. But I am so excited for it and I'm all for it. Uh, I cannot wait to see 
what the next trailer has in store uh, and what else we might see in the near future from Blumhouse. But wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I can say. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this entire video all the way through, thank you. Seriously, like, really, really appreciate it. I, I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, make sure you subscribe so you can see more kind of coverage of the FNAF movie news uh, in the near future because I will be doing a little bit of that. I know like every YouTube channel is going to be doing that, but I, I feel like I should join in. Um, and I think I am literally the last YouTuber on, on, the, on the entire platform to, to do a reaction to this. So thank you for watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Seriously, seriously, it, it, I really appreciate it. And thank you for sticking with me for so long. Anyway, I am going to see you in another video. Goodbye.